Good morning and happy Tuesday. Um, I'm about to make some breakfast for Ralph and I, but first, here's Mason. Here's Mason. Good morning. Can you say good morning, world? Say good morning, world. <laughs> good morning. Say tomorrow, I'm gonna be eight weeks. Eight weeks. <laughs> Y'all, I love this baby Bajorn right here. It is, we got this super late. Oh, you got a little bit of spit up. Um, but yeah, I didn't put this on my registry and I should have. So if you're pregnant, expecting, put it on your registry because he loves this thing. You just sit in it and he kind of bounces himself lightly, but you can press it to go faster. And while I'm cooking or doing whatever, cooking, eating, I put them in here. Okay, so just woke up. It's like 10 something. Fed him, brushed my teeth, washed my face, took a shower. Got this cute little jumpsuit romper from Target. So that's what I'm wearing today. Um, so I'm going to make some eggs. Ralph only wants two eggs and I want four eggs. But I have to cook them separately because I have extra stuff in mine. So... These are my favorite eggs, you guys. These pasture-raised Vital Farm eggs, along with the butter. It's so good. Um, but then I went to Sprouts yesterday and didn't have that brand, so I just got these organic pasture-raised eggs. So I'm going to make his eggs and my eggs. What is this on here? This is fine. Mason, what you doing? Uh oh. Sometimes he gets a little fussy in the in the bouncer. So I like four eggs because I need all the protein. And I just get hungry so fast also. So I'm trying to keep my belly full. So I have eggs and um, oatmeal for breakfast. Mommy's coming. Okay, so for Ralph's eggs, right? Here, I just add salt and pepper. That's it, and some cheese. So salt and pepper. He likes his eggs very basic. And then for my eggs, I use salt, pepper. I use some Lowry seasoning salt. I know, kind of salty, huh? And parsley. I like adding greenery to my foods. And then this is my favorite cheese I like to add. It's the Sargento Creamy Cheddar. It's very, very creamy. And it melts really nice, so that's why I like it. So I just put, I break it up and put it in. To little pieces. Um, I do the same for mine. So I'm gonna make Ralph's eggs first because he has to go to work. He got to work. So I just put one in. And then I also like to make oatmeal. I love this oatmeal. It's the Kroger Simply Truth brand. Um, the organic, no, sorry, yeah, organic instant oatmeal probiotics. And it's apple cinnamon. It's so good. I love it. So my camera definitely died after I made breakfast. But I made breakfast and um, Mason is now asleep. I was going to show you guys his, um, the things I do with him for like baby school. Um, we do tummy time and we track the cards, but he's asleep right now. So I got to wait for him to wake up. So in the meantime, I'm going to make my lunch while I can. Um, so today I'm just going to have... This 
right here, which is from Trader Joe's, is teriyaki, barbecue teriyaki chicken. And I meant to show you guys all the stuff I got from Trader Joe's yesterday, but some of the things I got were like that chicken thing. Um, I got this bagoli with rice. I haven't had this one yet. I kind of want to try it. I wonder if I should have this one today instead. Because I never had this one. Let's see which one's healthier. Because I need the healthy, healthy. Okay. Um, I'll try some more protein. Hmm. I'm going to save this one. I'm going to eat the teriyaki chicken. Um, but some of the other things I also like to get from Trader Joe's are... This rice, this vegetable fried rice. And I have the chicken fried rice one. And these mushrooms are really good. Um, so yeah. And so for dinner tonight, I am making, um, what am I making? Oh yeah, I'm making chicken thighs with the Thai style red curry sauce. This is really good so in coconut rice so i'm making that for dinner um you know what i might not even have rice for lunch today i might just have the chicken and like broccoli but yeah and i might make the dinner before i go to the gym so i have to wait for ralph to come home um before i go to the gym because you know he has to watch mason and my parents do, well, both our parents, both sides do a great job with watching Mason um, if we need. So we've been going out and stuff and, you know, just trying to have a little, a little bit of time together throughout the weekend. Um, so sometimes like my mom and dad will watch Mason or his mom will watch Mason. So, yeah. Um... What am I doing? Okay. So I'm about to make that. And, um, ooh, wrong side. Yo, I look a hot mess, okay? Like, I got this broccoli too. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Um, cut corner back to vent, heat on high. Three, four minutes. Um, yeah i look a hot mess <laughs> y'all this is the longest i had my hair like this i have never had a protective style like this for this long so that is very new to me having it in like this um i got to put in like two weeks before mason's due date and it is now what is it may 16th but i have an appointment to get these taken out on june 1st because we go to jamaica on the 8th and i have another hair appointment on june 7th so i couldn't even think about how to take these out i really like this hairstyle i've been wearing my hair like this up um basically since i had him just because it's really easy and when i do do it for real it looks cute um but wearing my hair down with him he likes to grab onto things so he'll like grab onto my hair grab onto my necklace like he loves grabbing onto things so it's like the best thing for me to do is just wear it up for now or else it's gonna be pulling on my hair but yeah so i have a hair appointment on the first to get it taken out um and then on the 7th, I'm going to do the half up, half down style that I love. And I'll have that for my trip. And then that's like an easy maintenance thing. If the braids get messy in the front of that style, I just can go back and have her redo it. And the back part will be sewn in. So that's pretty easy. But yeah, so let's make this food. I also need to pump um my pumps in here yeah so the pump that i have is this pump it's the motif luna um it's not hands-free but it can be cord free but 
that is the pump that I got. I was able to get it for $30 through my insurance. Like, they had free pumps on there, but that's what I really wanted. And then I'm thinking about getting the Willow or the LV, the hands-free one. I have a motif, not motif, that's motif. I have a Mom Cozy that I got on Amazon, but the Mom Cozy one, like, the past couple times it's been acting up, so I don't know. Um, I don't know. We gonna see, because when I go to Jamaica, I have to take a pump with me. Um, Cause when I come back, I still would like to breastfeed. So I don't need my supply like tanking or getting messed up. So I talked to, I talked to my lactation person who I go see like every two weeks and I told her about ooh, got the sponsor in here. I told her about how you know I still want to breastfeed and I talked to the pediatrician that when I come back I want to breastfeed still so I need to make sure that I pump while I'm gone. And she said like I will only play up the pump like four or five times. That's pretty good. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to heat that up. This is what it's looking like. Okay. I have broccoli. I was wondering what that smell was. Cause I was like, what smells like trash? It's the broccoli. Broccoli stinks to me. Like while it's cooking. But after it's done, I feel like it's fine. So yeah. So when Mason wakes up, I'm going to show you guys what I do with him on the Love Every Play Gym. And then um, I want to show you the other Love Every stuff I got that I absolutely love. Love, love, love. Um, Y'all know that I'm a teacher, so the toys and stuff that I get him, I want them to be very um, educational and like purposeful and meaningful. So that's why I got the Love Every Play, play Gym, it's the Love Every subscription box and the toys. They have them at Target finally. So you can get them at Target, hallelujah, I love Target. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys that later after I'm done eating and after Mason wakes up from his nap. Usually he, I nurse him and then he plays and then he sleeps but I don't know this morning he's a little tired so he just ate and went to sleep <laughs> I'm like okay sir but yeah so let me finish cooking I'll be back it's ready so I have my broccoli here broccoli I'm just gonna take a few pieces out yes I'm using my hands it's okay <laughs> So I have my broccoli and I like to add some salt to it and here is the chicken we're going for low carb today all right so that should be good so I have this much left over um, and then I have I cut up some green onions I love, ooh, I'm making a mess. <laughs> I love green onions, scallions. They like add to every meal. So this is what I'm having for lunch. It's broccoli and chicken. And then ignore this mess. But I have leftover broccoli. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this for lunch tomorrow. Make it so much easier for me. And I'm just gonna put it in here. That meal prep lunch for tomorrow. Perfect. All right, so we are going to do some tummy time with Mason. So this is the. <laughs> he makes so many grunting noises when he's gassy. He's a little gassy right now. Okay, so this is the Love Every play mat, and we use this literally every day. When we start, I usually have him on his back with this bell. And he loves looking at it. And sometimes I try to get his hand 
activate it to so try to reach for it. Oh, you passed the gas. Excuse you. Excuse you, sir. So we practice with the bell. And then the cards underneath, they look like this. They're black and white. They're high contrast cards. Oh, you're gassy today. It's okay. Look, we're gonna do your cards and you love your cards. <gasps> Look. <gasps> so he loves looking at these cards and the goal is to track, get him to track the card. And I've been doing this with him since he was four weeks old and now he's almost eight. And he does such a good job of tracking it. See, look at that. Good job. I know you have gas. We're out there some tummy time so you can get the gas out. Good job, Mason. You are so smart. Very good. Good job. Look at you, my smart boy. Very good. Yeah. Get that gas out. Get that gas out. Do some bicycles. Get that gas out. I know. I know. All right, so I'm going to flip him over. I'm going to use the boppy, this right here. And we're going to do some tummy time um, and try to get his head lifted up also. Make sure you put a burp cloth on here because he usually spits up. All right, you ready? You ready? I know, I know. You've been cranky today and yesterday. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Your car. You love your car. You love your car. Look at that. Look at that. I know. I know you're being a little fuss bucket today. Fuss bucket. There we go. Look at you with your head. Look at you. Good job. You want your classy? That you always spit out. <laughs> All right, let's go, Mason. You can do it. Good job. Look at you. Very good. Very good. Keep going, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Here, let's fix your arms. Here you go, Mason. You can do it. I think you're just sleepy today. Today and yesterday. You can do it. <laughs> Yay. Okay. And then I also have this rattle right here that came with it. And sometimes I try to get him to like grip his hands onto it. But he's still so young for that skill. But he'll like grip it, but then he'll let go. Can you hold on to it? Can you hold on? All right, so since Mason is being a little bit fussy today, I'm going to show you guys the stuff I got from Love Every um, because I absolutely love it, okay? So, like I said, I don't want all these, like, unnecessary toys that he's going to play, play with for, like, a little bit and then stop playing with them. I want something purposeful and meaningful. And, you know, since I'm a teacher... I want something that is also educational and will help him grow with his like development and his cognitive skills, all that. So, is that right, sir? Yes. 
Okay. So, um, this is, so like I said, I have the play mat, which I absolutely love. Okay. 10 out of 10 recommend. And then, ooh, I need to hide the address on right here. Um, and ignore my nail. I broke it. <laughs> um, this is the looker kit. And this is the play kit for zero to two months. So he is currently um, seven weeks. He'll be eight weeks tomorrow on Wednesday, the 17th. So is that the 17th? Yeah, the 17th. So it'll be two months then. So some of, one of the things I actually have in the car and I put that on his stroller you can attach it to the play gym but i put on the stroller and we go places so it gives him something to look at so i don't have that in here right now but um we are going to start using these mittens so it came with this right here which you can put on the play mat it's rainbow on one side then it has these slots and it has high contrast cards so these cards um, you can do this with tummy time. So if you put him on your on his belly, put this in front, he can look at this and it will keep him very engaged. So we are going to start this this week also. Um, and we're going to start the mittens too. So he's probably about to fall asleep. Um, these are high contrast mittens, which help a lot. So you just put these on. And I feel like it helps them kind of like discover their hands. Like, because you know, I don't think babies realize they have hands quite yet, but this helps them discover that. And I also have this, which I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put it because I love it. Um, it's a mobile or a mobile. And. Oh my gosh, he has so much gas right now. Um, but this side, as you can see, has colors on it. But the size they the side they look at is this side. Are you awake? So like this is really good um, when you change him. Like if you have a changing table, um, if you put it on the ceiling, attach it to the ceiling, and while you're changing them, they can look like this inside of it. Um, but it's just. I rarely change him on his changing table, honestly. Um, when we're when I'm home and we're on the second floor, I just use I have a changing mat. I just put down on the couch and change him, or on the ottoman and change him. I have a dolly of his diapers and wipes and stuff. So instead of like going all the way upstairs, I just change him right there with the changing mat. Um, and then at night. We have a portable changing mat, so I just put that on the bed, and we have all his stuff next to me, um, and I just change him during that time. So yeah, so yeah. Um, so it came with that and that, and then it came with um, this rattle right here. So we've been using this rattle a lot. So the only two things that we haven't been really using yet are the uh, mobile, because I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put that. And then we're going to start the mittens this week and this. Um, he's just been so fussy. Like, I don't know. He might be going through a growth spark also. But look, he's knocked out already. Uh, uh, we have been using this. So I've been having him practice, like, grabbing um, it. And, of course, he's not going to, like, grab it and hold on to it for a long time. Because he's only seven weeks. So just getting him to like feel how to grab things and what that feels like is really good and then also upstairs next to the bed it did come with like a book of high contrast um pictures in it and a mirror so like if we're in the bed or something and he wants something to do he's a little bored while we're just chilling then um i'll show him those like the high contrast picture book which is great so yeah, so that's what's in the looker kit. He's still sleeping. And then today, well not today, yesterday. Let me just tell you about the gas too, by the way. Nobody told me when I was pregnant or before that babies are so gassy. 
their digestive system is very immature so it's like a huge like thing for them to pass gas whatever but i give him um gas drops i give him gripe water all that burp them baby's still gonna be gassy so hopefully that fades away soon because i don't like looking at him when he's so gassy it looks like he's so uncomfortable hey you guys so i'm about to go to the gym um i'm about to put my fitness belt on from j sculpt um i'm gonna put that on while i work out i think it's in the car though but yeah here's my little outfit uh yeah and here's baby mason he's sleeping right here because i had to get ready so yeah i'm about to go to the gym i was cleared to work out like a week and a half ago so i've been in the gym like almost every day since i've been cleared because you know we got a trip we're going on soon and i need the snap back you know so yeah so i'm about to go work out and i'll probably record some of that oh my goodness <laughs> i'll probably record some of my workout um yeah mommy's gonna go work out and then go to trader joe's afterwards yeah. to get stuff <gasps> you talked okay mason is seven weeks he'll be eight weeks on wednesday today's monday it was monday the 15th yeah but he just said hey hey i feel like he's saying the word hey but yeah all right you guys so i will see you guys at the gym oh yeah and also i broke my nail and i didn't have time to go get it fixed so look at that i went and got a press on nail it's this one and i need to trim it down so it can match the other ones but yeah yesterday was mother's day so i didn't want to be out there looking all crazy but um, i'm gonna call and schedule a nail appointment for friday so i get my nails done but yeah i mean i feel like if you don't look too hard like it kind of blends in so yeah okay i'm gonna go to the gym before i head out look at these beautiful flowers that ralph got me for mother's day they're so pretty these were the ones that like last a year and i absolutely love them with these this card says happy mother's day to mama morgan mason i love you very much so sweet beautiful they smell so so good too oh look look who's here hey hey i'm ralph how's hey, it going hey, wow i know you wow wow just just do it wow i was just telling them oh my gosh i was just <laughs> telling them about the beautiful flowers that he got me for mother's day it's the least i can do baby mm -hmm. love you come love you too all right wow all right i'm really about to go to the gym now okay